Welcome back to City Grillin'. My name's Rob Vore, and tonight something special. Lamb chops on the grill. I have already have a few lamb chops, almost two pounds of lamb chops. You know, they're small and petite, but they are really good on the grill. I've got a marinade sauce. I've actually trimmed off most of the fat on these uh, lamb chops, but I'm going to go ahead and make the marinade sauce. So, first thing I need is about two tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm going to just go ahead and pour some olive oil inside of this container. And then I need some fresh rosemary. So I have some fresh rosemary here. You just peel this back off the stem, just like so. And I need, I'll just get it, grab just a little bit more here, about, about like that, maybe just a hair more. I like rosemary on, on my lamb chop. So now I just need to, to go ahead and dice this up. So I'm just gonna go through and, and finally mince up this rosemary. So I've, I've got the uh, rosemary finely chopped there. So I'm going to go ahead and add it into the oil. Just go ahead and scrape that on in there. Just like so. Now the next thing is some garlic. I got a couple of cloves of garlic. To open garlic, the easy way is just go ahead and lay it down flat. Put your knife on it and pop it just like that. That'll make it easy for the skin to come off. You can just cut off the, the ends of it right there like that. Just like so, and look at that, the skin starts to pop right off of the garlic. So I'll go ahead and start slicing this up, and go ahead and mince it up really nice. Again, about a teaspoon or two, or a couple cloves. Depends on how much garlic you really like in your, in your food. I like a lot. All right, I've got the garlic fairly well minced up smells delicious and I'm gonna go ahead and add it into my mixture here of oil and rosemary and finally I'm gonna add a little uh, sea salt again you know you can do this to taste and some ground black pepper okay I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up you can add a little lemon juice in here if you'd like but I'm going to mix all this up, make it smell delicious, and then take this marinade and then put it over top of your lamb chops, just like so. And you'll want to hit both sides, so once I get this side done, I'll go ahead and do the other side. And then I'm going to let them rest and, and sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour. You know, you could do this even the next the day before and let it sit overnight and it'll add more flavor to your lamb chops. I'll go ahead and finish this up. And before we put it on the grill, you'll definitely need to you'll definitely need to uh, make sure the lamb chops get up to room temperature before you put them on the grill. You don't want them ice cold from the refrigerator. So I'll let these rest again about an hour in the refrigerator, then I'm going to take them out and at least a half hour before I put them on the grill. But we'll come back before then. All right, I'm ready to put the lamb chops on the grill, but one more thing I need to do is go ahead and grease those grates with a little bit of olive oil that I've got in this bowl. Just using a paper towel, put it over top of the grates here, just to help prevent it from sticking. Just help out, okay? Now that I have oiled the grates, I'm going to go ahead and put on the lamb chops. These look beautiful. Oh, and that sizzle. Just like so. Place them all on the grill. Let these cook on one side for maybe five to eight minutes. I like my medium rare, so I, I'm going to really watch these to make sure that I can get some medium rare lamb chops. Alright, it's been about six minutes. Let's check these lamb chops. All oh, these look beautiful. The lamb chops are excellent. We got a nice grill mark going right there with those. I'm going to go ahead and flip these over. Cook them another, another uh, six minutes at least. Maybe uh, actually five minutes the way these are starting to turn out. So if I just turn this one guy over, just like so. Like that. Go ahead and turn these over. If they're stuck a little bit, just go ahead and wiggle them. Just like that, they come right off. 
All right, I'm gonna cook those at least five more minutes and they're done. All right, it's been another five minutes. Let's check these lamb chops. They look beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and plate these up. I'm just gonna put them on here, take them inside. I'm gonna let them rest, tent them up with some aluminum foil and get ready to eat. So let's check this out. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. Okay, I brought the lamb chops in. What you do is take a little aluminum foil and just tent it right over top of those lamb chops. Let it rest for five minutes and then we'll be ready. All right, I've plated up my meal. I've got some sweet potato chips that I made, some green beans, some mushrooms, and these beautiful lamb chops. I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this. Oh, look at that. Perfect medium rare. Can you see that? That is excellent. That's what you want. Go ahead and cut this off. Take a bite. Mm. Perfect. It's tender. Oh, it is just exactly what I expected. Please sign and subscribe to my YouTube site. I appreciate it. Thanks.